Hi Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for November 20th to November 26th. Now this is intended to be a love reading for the sign of Pisces. This is not a private reading, so it might not resonate with you at all. It may, but it may not. It may resonate fully, but it may not resonate a bit, okay? So, just saying. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I will zoom this in once I have laid out the cards. looks pretty good all right so the basis of your reading is the six of pentacles that is about give and take okay equal give and take able being able to give your fair share and accept your fair share that's the basis of the reading right off the bat I have to tell you we have three nines nine 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 I use a lot of numerology in my readings nine 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 okay so that tells me right away that there's a door closing. There's a door that is closing. Nines are about closure. So something is, is ending. If it hasn't ended yet, it's very close to ending. Um, and it does lead to wish fulfillment with this door closing. I think there's been some depression over it. You know, there's been resisting it. The door has been, you know, um, kept open just, you know, a little bit, you know, ajar. But I think it's real close to being shut. Um, I think you are starting to let go. You're starting to um, no longer resist. Okay? It feels like now you're starting to think more about your future. There's still some confusion here. Like I said, the door is still ajar, but it is almost closed. Okay? There's definitely some confusion regarding a choice. And I feel because there's been lack of action, okay? Somebody hasn't been moving forward. Um, perhaps you're just sick of being alone, you know? Somebody it has is no longer wanting to be alone. Um, and maybe that's why the door is closing. Maybe you're de deciding to give up on a situation because... You don't need it anymore. There's no need to fight. There's no, there's no more growth and you're just letting go. All right. Um, there is some insecurities here. Maybe um, financially, I'm not sure. This is intended to be a love reading. You could be feeling financially insecure, but there's really no need for it because you are, you are secure, but you may just be feeling financially insecure. We do have some challenges, you know, some mentally restless energy here um, and, and feeling depressed, okay? So I think this depression that you're going through, this anguish regarding this choice that you have to make is probably going to come to an end, all right? I think you're going to be moving away from that state of mind. No more, no more um, giving it any of your time, any of your energy. It feels like you're just moving away from that, all right? Um, I'm going to start shuffling this deck while I talk. Um, I feel like there's, there's definitely a completion probably regarding a relationship. Something is over. <clears throat> and if it's not a relationship, I mean, it could be have to do with career because we do have some feeling insecure regarding your money situation but I feel like whatever this is this if I feel like it's over with because we have this ten of pentacles whatever this insecurity that you are going through regarding your finances it's over there's no reason to feel insecure none okay that's just a thought it's not true all right um, I see that somebody has, has um, maybe there's been some dishonesty here, okay? There could have been some dishonesty, and that is causing some um, 
confusion. All right, we have some confusion up here. Um, it feels like I don't know what is going on, but there's some observation here. All right, I don't know if you're watching somebody from afar or somebody is watching you, but there's definitely some observation here, and it has to do with a relationship. I'm not sure who this is for or what that means. But there is some, it's like, I don't know if this is happening on social media or what, but I think that finally, I mean, you're seeing what you need to see, okay? Whatever's, your, be, you, your observation is allowing you to see what you need to see to close the door, okay? So now it's just all about you making a choice, okay? It's about you getting your life back on track. And I think many of you are doing that. Um, no longer sitting around waiting. I think that you guys have done plenty of that. You haven't been taking action. You have been, wait you have been waiting around. You, you know, you've just been stuck in a, in a rut. But I think that that's over now. I think that rut is, is buried because I think that you're starting to get out you're starting to be more social you're starting to let go you're starting to um, bring peace back to your mind you know peace of mind you know I think that's what's happening here you're letting go of unnecessary drama that's what I see You have walked away from something. You have finally decided to walk away with this devil card. You have. It's like you're not going to be manipulated. You're not going to be used. You're not going to be lied to. And you can see right through it. Okay? And that's why you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to remove myself from this situation. And I think many of you have. After a period of waiting. Waiting to see what happens. I think that waiting game is over, okay? Maybe perhaps you've realized that it was false, that it wasn't true, that it wasn't real, that it was a lie, and you're moving on, okay? I feel like the time of being stuck is over, all right? Your time of feeling lost inside, I think that that's over, and if it isn't over yet, it's going to be, because we have the tower here, and the tower comes out to help you out, because something wasn't true, so it breaks things down to bring you in something better. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very prominently here in your reading, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn the most, okay? very prominent in your life. I'm not sure if that's in the past or um, or now, but I do feel like your lack of action is over, okay? It's time. It's time to come out of your shell. It's time to be more so social. It's time to let go. It's time to walk away. I think that you're bringing balance back to your life. You're getting yourself back on track. You're opening up. You're moving forward. You're, you're not staying stuck. You're releasing yourself. You're starting to heal. You're not putting effort into something that's never going to happen. You know, you're just, you just let go. It's like, you know, why, am I, why should I stay and be stuck and put effort into something that's going nowhere? And I think that you are just like, to hell with this shit. I'm going to go out. I'm going to be social, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to take action, I'm not going to be stuck anymore, there's no growth, I might as well move on, and I think you're moving on quite happily, alright, this is for the sign of Pisces, I feel like I see that, no, that somebody is done, I'm done. Completely. I'm done. I'm bringing the balance back to my life, and that's the gift to me. The gift is bringing balance, serenity, peace back to my life. I'm not going to stay stuck here anymore. I'm going to go out, and I'm going to have fun. It, I feel like there has been some interaction on social media. 
that has sparked this change, okay? Maybe you saw something that has made you decide, uh, it's time, it's time. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. The red flags, what are those? What are the red flags in your relationship? What are the, what are the red flags going on in your life? This is for hundreds and thousands of people. What are the red flags? Are you paying attention? I mean, if you are still stuck in your shell, that's a red flag. Okay, if like the red flags, like I said, social media, this is becoming more social and this is somebody watching you from afar, or you watching them. So there is something going on with social media that I think that somebody has seen something that has changed everything. So somebody is watching this and they have seen something that has changed the whole outlook and is going to cause them to take action. Giving and receiving. Look at that. This, this is the basis of your reading. Giving and receiving. And then you got this card. So that's pretty amazing. Giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health, energy, and replenishment. Balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation, giving and receiving equally. That is the basis of your reading. When you give, you receive. When you receive, you give. That's how it goes. When you are receiving from another person, you're actually giving to that person because they're able to give to you. Do you know what I mean? Let somebody give to you and give back in return. That's what this is about. So Pisces, this is for the week of November 20th through November 26th. This may not resonate with you. Something's going on on social media that probably somebody has become aware of. That's what I'm thinking. And if it's not you, you know, if it's not social media, you've seen something, you've heard something, okay? You've heard something. Something has come to light which may just make you take action. So I want to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. If you want to know more about me, you can check out my welcome video or my group or my let's talks, which can be a little different. And you'll see those in, um, in my YouTube channel. And if um, this didn't resonate, then it wasn't meant for you. Talk to you later.